Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin for the Nintendo GameCube. I'm the French Fry King, and in the last episode, we finished up everything that we need to do in the Forest of Hope. So in this episode, we will be heading over to the Forest Naval, the Forest Naval, sorry, and collect two more parts. So let's go. The Forest Naval. The best of all navels because it's a forest and I don't understand why I said that but whatever so we have been here previously a couple episodes um, ago and we um, actually came here to get the blue Pikmin we got two parts while we were here and we didn't actually do anything else let's have 30 yellows because I need them let's go over to the red onion and let's get out 30 reds all right, now let's head over to the blue onion, and then let's just get out 40 blue, because um, I think because for one of the parts that I have in mind to get, um, it actually needs quite a bit of blues to get it because it's in the water. So yeah, the blue Pikmin play a pretty big role. So let's um get this nectar in this grass right here, so we will have more flowers. Keep messing around with the grass, just in case you find more nectar. Alright, non-flower Pikmin drink the nectar. And I believe that we have all flowers now. Yes, we do! So, now that we have that done, let's head over... Um, not over here, because, um... No, stop messing with that. So we are actually gonna go... Um, down here. I, bu I thought I built this bridge. Or it must have been that one down... No, it wasn't. I could have sworn I built this bridge already, but whatever. Let's rebuild it, and let's take a quick look at the parts that we need to collect. So there's one, oh, two over there, one over there, um, one in the water, and one right there. Alright, so, um, I, like I mentioned before, there is, this is my least favorite level in this entire game because of how dark it is in this area. And you see, it's morning in the game right now, and it's still really dark. Um, that's kind of the reason why I don't really like this place, but, um, it's just my opinion. There are probably people that really like this place. Um, it does have some pretty cool enemies. Um, they can get annoying, but I think they're pretty cool. Um, the idea of them is, um, pretty cool. Like these enemies right here. These will actually, um, blow fire at you, so you want to be a little careful when facing them and only have your red Pikmin face them. So as you see right now, he's actually trying to get my Pikmin right now, and hopefully I'm going to try and distract him away. Um, I'm going to hit him. And he's missing terribly. Um, I tried to distract him, but it didn't seem to work, but it didn't really seem to do anything against my Pikmin either. And let me see if I can get this guy distracted. Alright, let's grab my Pikmin. And as you see right there, he just burnt some Pikmin. And if you don't get them fast enough, they will end up dying. And as you see right there, oh, he's just killing a whole bunch. I'm out of here. Yeah, he just killed like almost 30 Pikmin. So, yeah, we're done with that. So you want to go over here, and then um, let's go a little bit farther and see if can I? Not? Only the yellows can build it, I guess. Um, let's throw some yellows over there and have them build the bridge. As you see, the blues are not doing, or can't actually go over there. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is um, split the Pikmin up right now and have the reds fight these um, enemies because these are going to cause a lot of trouble and it's really annoying to have to fight them. So, let's have the reds. Now, the only way that they can actually kill the reds is if they were to throw them into the water. Like that, see how he just like launches them? If he throws them into the water, then they will end up dying, because they will drown. So you want to be a little careful with that, and plus if he throws them into like another enemy like that. So you want to be a little careful when facing these guys, don't think that the red Pikmin can't die from him at all, because they can if he throws them into the water. So, now that we're done with that, um, this enemy right here is called the Wally Walk. So what I'm going to want to do right here is you want to have your Pikmin pretty much swarm him, and then um, he can't actually get up off the ground. So then you have to have your Pikmin just swarm him like crazy like that. 
So, um, I believe I lost too many, um, blue Pikmin, um, with this, so I think I'm actually gonna have to uh, get some more. But, there's a part over here, and, um, hold on, it's right over here, and since it's in the water, only the blue Pikmin can actually grab it. Let's move them. And see, the thing is, is even when you blow your whistle, sometimes they do not get out of the way. I don't know why it does that, but whistle, come on. Alright, so the yellows have finished um, with the bridge, and so we will go over there in just a second. And he just killed some more. So, um, yeah, this is not going so great. Let's um, have the reds go ahead and grab the part over here that it is if 30 is enough. Let's um, find out. So, right here we have the gravity jumper, and basically it just gives us the final boot, um, the final boost to get at the speed of light. So yes, we have enough reds to grab this, and now let's grab um, the other Pikmin. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna have some of the blue Pikmin um, carry back some of these enemies because we lost some Pikmin in the battles that we have just done. And let's get some yellows as well. And what I'm actually going to do is kind of distract these these guys away from the Pikmin. That way that he won't actually do anything. And see, he's actually kind of missing. But you can see the red ones can get through him with no problems at all. So, now that they have um, gotten past him, we do not have to worry about that. Um, them getting killed. So, um, now what I kind of want to do is... Um, Actually gonna throw the rest of these Pikmin onto this bridge over here to get them started building on this building this bridge. So um I believe they have to be on this side. Um yeah, let's get them started right there. And then we'll actually go back over to the um onions and stuff. Um collect any Pikmin there, put away some reds, and take out some blues. Um, because we ultimately need the, um, blues to get that part out of the water. We've already collected one part for today, and we're about halfway through the day. The day's halfway gone. I, right there, for whatever reason, I decided to just start, um, going in a higher, um, pitch sound, but then I decided not to, and that's just how it worked. Um, so what we're gonna do... Um, right now the Pikmin have just brought it back to the onion, and what I'm gonna do with that part in the water, I'm gonna have the blue Pikmin carry it out of the water, and then I'm gonna have the red Pikmin actually carry it away and over to this, because that's what you want to do ultimately um, here, because there are so many enemies that spit fire. So we have now recovered 13 out of the 30 parts, we're almost halfway there, and if I can just find 16 more, we will be able to increase our, ship, our ship's capabilities once again. And that actually, collecting 16 more parts will actually lead us to the final place in the game that I mentioned um, in the last episode. But um, for those of you, if you didn't watch the last episode or whatever, um, which if you haven't, I suggest you go and actually do that because um, it can help you, um, you will help you understand um, storyline wise and stuff like that, that um, we actually did not go or, um, I mentioned, um, I just totally forgot what I was going to say. Um, if it comes back to my head, then I will, um, bring it up again. But, what we need to do is actually, oh, I remember now. What I, um, this, how the videos are going to work from now on until I stop making Let's Plays, which won't be for a long time. I'm going to do this as long as I can. Um is that there's only going to be one video per day on this channel now, and then it will just alternate between Let's Plays. So today will be Pikmin, tomorrow will be Luigi's Mansion, and that's just how it's going to work from now on. Simply just because it's easier on me that way, not because I'm getting lazy or anything, it's just easier on me that way. Because um, make recording um, videos for two Let's Plays each day, and then editing is just a lot of work, and it's, it can just over it can kind of overwhelm you and 
it's just, I don't believe that, um, it's just kind of gets annoying, and so I don't actually think that I should do that. Um, let's have, um, this one too. So, um, another thing that happens with this Wallywog is that if he hits you, then it actually will, you won't be able to use your whistle, so you want to stand a little, um, back a little bit, so that way you can use your whistle on him, and, um, then you will be able to pull your Pikmin away. So, this part right here, I believe it requires 40 Pikmin. This is the anti-dioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. Because we do not want to pollute the Earth. Even though us as humans are already doing that. But we do not want to do that any more than what we are doing already. So um, I'm going to actually let the pick these blue Pikmin carry this out of the water. And like what I said before, I'm actually going to let the um, reds carry it. But I'm actually going to have to put away some... Um, blues and actually have the reds carry it the rest of the way and it's a good thing that we don't have any Wally Wogs just walking around in the um, sand because if we did we'd have some trouble right there so carry it right out of the water all right now that it's out of the water um, let's get all the blues away and then let's grab the reds no red and now let's have all the reds carry it. And we'll just throw all these reds that we have with us right now. And then I'll actually go put away some other Pikmin. And I didn't want that yellow one to carry it. But hopefully since it's only one yellow, it won't be a big deal. Let's head back over to the um, um, to base. And I'm not going that way. <laughs> I didn't want to get um, attacked by those enemies. So go around let's put some blue Pikmin back and then we can go and actually um get the um um some more red Pikmin to carry that back come on um you know what I'll just leave him there because he's kind of just gonna sit there and do whatever he wants so um I might as well heal myself while I'm over there as well I got and I got hurt while facing those Wally Wogs so let's put these blues back there we go put all the blues that we have back and we actually can't bring out any more reds until um, all the blues are back in the onion so hurry up all right we can get out some more reds now let's just get out the maximum reds let's actually put this yellow in here and now let's quickly head back down there most of these are flowers, so hopefully it should bring it back fast. And I think they'll be able to get it in time. We have these bridges built and stuff, so I don't think it'll be um, a problem. And you see he's trying to um, hurt the Pikmin, but he can't actually do anything. So yeah, they're carrying it back pretty fast. Um, let's grab the Pikmin. And I'm actually going to go and put all these Pikmin um, back into the their respective onions. And I know there was on um, a Pikmin over here. Um, yeah, there he is. Alright. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting flowers right now because um, there's no point. This video is almost over. The ep I swear, these videos go by so fast. Like, it literally feels like I've only been recording for 5 minutes. But I've already been recording for 13 minutes. So, mm. I guess... It just videos go by really fast when you're just having fun playing games that you enjoy um, because I do really like this game and it does hold a special place in my heart um, because it was one of the very first games that I have ever played even though I've only beaten it one time this is the second time beating it Theo shut up I'm sorry that's my cat he won't shut up um I'll let him in in just a second if he could just shut up just until this video is done. I mean, we're almost done with the day. The Pikmin are bringing the second part in right now. So, come on, Pikmin, bring it, bring it over to the on uh, the spaceship. Let me. I don't actually need to do this, but heal myself. And we have gotten the anti-dioxin, dioxin filter. I believe that's what it's called. Theo, shut up.
Shut up! Jeez. He won't shut up. This is the second time he's done this. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. I have now recovered 14 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 15 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So, now with that done, we have collected the two parts that I wanted to collect for this episode. We still have a whole bunch of reds. Now let's check our total of yellow. 85 yellow. Okay, that's pretty good. Like I said, yellows are the most are the least important ones in the entire game. So, just make sure. Okay, um, I forgot about those ones building the bridge. So I'm gonna go by um that bridge real quick and grab those. And as long as they're with me, then it's fine. Just remember that you don't actually have to be at base with the Pikmin. Um yeah, and they did actually end up um, finish building this, so that was good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go to Sunset right now, because there's nothing else I can do. So, yes, we have completed yet another day in the Pikmins for the game Cubes. So, we dismiss all of our Pikmin back to their onions, and then Olimar walks over to his spaceship. And you see, once it gets nighttime, it's even darker here. And... I do think that this place is a unique place, but, and I don't absolutely hate this place, it's just, um, it's just not my favorite place, that's all. Um, the Forest of Hope, I just like that one so much because of the music there and of just, um, the overall atmosphere of the place, that's really why it's my favorite place. The Distant Spring, which is the place we'll be going to after we collect everything here, is actually, um, um, a really cool place. I really like that a lot, but not as much as the Forest of Hope. So, nine days since impact, fire should be a natural enemy of the Pikmin, but a closer uh, uh, examination, I found that red Pikmin to be impervious to it. It is fascinating. The reds continue through the flames, completely oblivious to any Pikmin burning around them. Yes, the reds are fireproof, like I said, Omar. Um, I could have swore, okay, we did have some extra yellows to actually put in the um, onion afterwards, so that's why we have a total of 97. And we did have Pikmin population go down with the blue and the yellow, but the red stayed the same. So I think we did alright. We have not left any behind yet, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And that is pretty much all for this episode. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, because it lets me know that you guys enjoy watching these videos that I work so hard to provide to you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you will be notified of whenever I release a new video. I have a second channel called The Chicken Nuggets, a co-op channel with me and my brother. Link to the uh, channel in the description below. And share, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see all of you wonderful people in the next episode. See ya!